for lacking. March 8th. I think it's March 8th. Yeah, March 8th. I'm going to do a recap for March 7th. Yesterday. I'm tired, man. I think that... I think that witchcraft is wearing me down. Straight up, man. But anyways... Nah, for real, for real, I ain't been, I, ain't, I haven't got any sleep last night. But that's probably the witchcraft, that's what I'm saying. But anyways, man, my, my tiredness ready, my training readiness is poor. My training status is strained. My heart rate for today, right now, is at 55 heartbeats per minute. The highest it was today was 117. My body battery is plus 18 slash negative 14. My stress level is at 42. That's high. That, I think that's the highest it ever been. Intensity minutes, 301, 2,156 steps. And I burned 1,465 calories today. Uh, last night, I only slept three hours and 36 minutes. Yeah, I'm taking my ass to bed tonight, today, right after this. My respiration, 14. My HRV status is low. Usually it's unbalanced. Now it's just low. And you see this right here, this uh, sleep coach? This is something that just, they, I guess it's just automatically updated to the watch because it noticed that my sleep pattern is so off. It's called a sleep coach. Look at that sleep history, poor. Activity history, high, low, HRV status, unbalanced. You need an extra one hour and 10 minutes of sleep compared to your baseline. What did that mean? Let's see here. Sleep history, last, mm. Wow, these are the dates. Uh, I seem like I've been sleeping like an average of, dang. Okay, on the second, it was almost six hours. Yeah, it started getting lower and lower. Lower, I pressed slept pretty good this day. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I slept pretty good. On the seventh. Oh, that was the night before the seventh. Yeah, and I did sleep pretty good. I guess it wasn't enough. Let's see here. Sleep need. Hmm. All right, let's get out of here. Let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday I did four miles. I ran two good miles. I try to break a. I try to do a, you know, get a PR, a personal record, but I was short. You know, I, I did two miles. I did it in 21 minutes and 12 seconds. I think the quickest I did 21, 20. I mean, two miles is 21 minutes and seven seconds. But the only difference is this run here. I didn't stop to watch until like a tenth of a second later. So I probably ran them both around the same speed. But yesterday, man, my heart rate, my resting heart rate was 51. I got it up to a high of 180 while I was running. My body battery is plus 66, negative 63. My stress level is 36. Intensity minutes 165, did 10,364 steps, burned 3,185 calories, only did six floors. Yeah, and I slept for seven hours and 13 minutes. But my heart was still, everything was still, you know, unbalanced and strained and everything from the day before. But I just felt good. Today I feel like shit. And my HRV status was 38. 
but it was unbalanced. Then, like the seat, this new feature, sleep coach, saying that I need a good nine hours to sleep. Let's go in on it. We're gonna do it real fast, real fast. Average heart rate, 164 beats per minute. Average pace, 10 minutes, 31 seconds per mile. All right, 291 miles, 291 calories. Feel somewhat strong, somewhat strong. I'm, I'm looking strong too. I'm telling you, man. I just was uh, in this warehouse, and this dudes, you know, they call me Big Dog, like like the big dog that I am. It's true, I'm a big dog. But in a minute, in a minute, I'm finna lose. I'm finna lose about 20, 30 pounds, man. And if I ever go back home, I all my partners, my so-called partners, I don't want y'all thinking I'm smoking that shit. Because you know I don't get down like that. If you see me. Alright, man. Like I said, my average price was 10 minutes and 31 seconds per mile. My best pace was 7 minutes and 16 seconds. And I'm telling you, I... I, I I probably ran that seven that pace of seven minutes sixteen seconds for about I say probably about a third of a mile because I was trying to beat my record. I was tired as hell too. Average heart rate 164. Maximum heart rate 182. I gotta hurry up, man. want to explain all this shit real quick because I know when I was running like when I was sprinting I can see the difference but I know I'm finna get a green light alright man I did 59% in zone 5 26% in zone 4 7% in zone 3 3% in zone 2 and then my power zone in zone 5 We ain't gonna do the stats for this one today. Well, let's see. Let's see what this is. Primary benefit was VO2 max. My laps. First mile, I did it in 11 minutes and 25 seconds. And this is what, I, man, my second mile, I did it in 9 minutes and 37 seconds. That's the fastest I ever ran in a mile. Nine minutes and 37 seconds. So the pace was nine minutes and 37 seconds. And like I said, I'm trying to get down to eight minutes. But I had to do it for three miles. I mean, y'all just don't know how hard that shit is, man. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard as hell. Maybe if I was younger, it would be a lot easier. Maximum speed was 8.3 miles per hour. Hmm. So, you know, the other day I thought I probably can do um, 11 miles per hour. I probably can. I probably can. I never try. Alright man, let's get out of here. So that was for that two two miles. And then I walked and ran two miles. As you can see, oh, hold on, I wanna see something real fast. Yeah. No red. Oh, I was, man, that's, that's crazy. Well, it's not really crazy, but I, over here in the green, I was really running hard. 
But I guess I wasn't running that hard because I was already tired. Alright, let's go back. Here. And as you can see, I was running and sprinting. Walking. I was doing all three. And my average heart rate was 153 beats per minute. My average pace was three, 13 minutes, 47 seconds. And see, and I still burned 350 calories. So, walking is just as effective as running, man. It just takes more time. That's it. That's, that's the only difference, I think, in my opinion. My best pace was 4 minutes and 59 seconds per minute. That's because I was like, I'll walk like a tenth of a mile, then I'll sprint like a tenth of a mile. Average heart rate, 153. Maximum heart rate, 176. As you can see, see when you're sprinting, man, when you're sprinting, you're working your muscles. And that's why that anaerobic goes up. Which means I probably need to do more. Well, I've been doing good. I've been doing good. You see my damn body is all breaking down. And I'm finna and I'm finna start understanding like these these graphs. You know, the differences when I'm when you're doing an easy run, when you're running hard, when you're doing a long run. I'm I'm noticing how these graphs are different. The patterns in them. As you can tell with the walk and run graph. The green is when I was walking, the blue is when I was running. That's 17% in zone 5, 48% in zone 4, 34% in zone 3. And these power zones, 38% in zone 5. I guess the, the uh, mileage really don't matter. But first mile I did it in 13 minutes and 20 seconds. Second mile, 13 minutes and 49 seconds. Do the stats. Best pace for minutes and 59 seconds. Average speed. Yeah, you see there? I can get up to 11 miles per hour. Max speed was 12 miles per hour. And like I said, I was running. I was doing these max speeds at tenth of a mile I said I probably can do it I said I probably can run 11 miles per hour for a third of a mile now, I didn't try to do that last yesterday but like I said I was doing a tenth of a mile but eventually as time goes on I eventually eventually I'm gonna be able to run a whole mile at 11 miles per hour eventually God willing Primary benefit, tempo. So you can say yesterday, I benefited off of a VO2 max train out and a tempo train out. Which is cool. So I'm going to leave you all at that. I'm tired. I'm going to really see what I can do with this channel now. Since I got word that I can act a fool with it. And holla at your boy.